Well, let me give a little bit more background on this cat for those that maybe have not done uh, their research. He's been in the Denver Broncos, New York Giants, Atlanta Falcons, Jacksonville Jaguars, Dallas Cowboys, Chicago Bears, uh, and uh, Los Angeles Rams organizations, all of them at some point in time as special teams coordinator. Uh, so he's been the top dog. That, though, is not the most interesting part or piece of his resume, guys. And I'm sure, Hale, you've done your research, you know, being the excellent journalist that you are. He did not play college football. Uh, he is from Arvada, Colorado. He was an All-American wrestler for the Wyoming Cowboys, finished eighth in the nation back in 1988. And if that's not interesting enough for all of you, in 2009, everybody probably remembers this, and I'm going to mention May 2nd, 2009, the Dallas Cowboys practice facility collapsed during a storm. Joe DeCamillis and 11 other Cowboys players and coaches were underneath what fell from the roof. And it was him and Rich Beam, a 33-year-old scouting assistant who suffered the worst injuries. Deacon Millis had a fractured cervical vertebrae and had surgery to stabilize uh, the neck. And Beam was permanently paralyzed from the waist down after it severed his spinal cord uh, in, that, uh, in that storm. But only a few days later, or a, a few months later, Joe Deacon Millis was back there with a neck brace, coaching football for the Cowboys when they opened up camp on August the 10th of 2009. So he was a part, he was like the centerpiece of that thing, him and Rich Beam. So, or Rich Beam, that's the um, the golfer. Yeah, Rich Beam. Yeah, they got the same name. So him and Rich Beam were the centerpieces of that roof that fell down. Whenever this cat gets a chance to speak to the media, I sure hope somebody will ask about this thing because I, I remember that like it was yesterday. When I read it this morning, I thought, wow, that's been 15 years ago. I think it's safe to say he's a tough dude, right? Yeah, I think Wrestling so. College and survived all that. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to mess with that guy.